All right, good morning. TJIF, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Getting organized here. Coffee, coffee crew rolling in. Thanks for tuning in. We've had a good, uh, good week so far. Always good. Everybody's, everybody's hopefully having a good, uh, a good uh, week with their investments. And sun is shining today, so I'm in a good mood. That's all. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you are watching on the replay, we'll get this out of the way. Thanks for watching the replay. But if you want to join us live, we go live Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock to about 8.45. Good group, coffee crew, and uh, it'd be great to have you on live. But if not, always the replays are always on the channel as well. So there we go. That is the housekeeping out of the way. Uh, for people that are rolling in and you're here, if you haven't hit the like button yet, hit that like button. Helps out, gets the gets the live stream out to to new people. It's always good to have new people on the stream but it's also good to have the have the uh the, the regulars here and candace uh, i think you're feeling better you're the first one in today good 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 uh coffee donut good morning hopefully you're doing well hopefully your day uh if you're day tra if you're day trading today hopefully you're doing okay i uh I, I have i've taken a little bit of look at the market and stuff but again trying not to pay it as much like daily you know not to stress about it uh, with my with my uh portfolio so uh kind of overview quickly in the morning but that's it that's it for me i'm not uh i'm not uh not no buys or anything like that for me today that's out of the way all good and chat let's get the, your joke these are t <laughs> this one's a bad this one's a bad one <laughs> earl the squirrel uh why did why does earl the squirrel invest equally in acorns walnuts and hazelnuts uh, to achieve a nut folio diversification. That that one's a bad one, but I, I do Earl the Squirrel. I like how it rhymes, so that's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, uh, Stan, good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. This week went super fast, that's for sure. I've been, I've been swamped with work this week. Uh, it seems like I haven't caught up from the long weekend almost. It's like, uh, it's so it's good. Not com I'm uh, complaining, but not complaining. It's good. If you're working, it means you're busy and making, uh, you make money to be able to invest. So not, uh, not complaining by any means, but it's nice that it is Friday and, uh, looking forward to looking forward to the weekend. That's for sure. No big plans, but, uh, just, uh, take it easy. That's always good. Uh, see Seneca's here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, people. All good. Hopefully your day is going doing going going well as well. And MC, good morning, good to have you here. Name's still working there, so something's got fixed with the with the live stream uh, when you're when you're back. So there we go. And Steve, good morning. Always good to have you here. Thanks for tuning in. All the all the all the channel members are here today. I know some of these have gift channel members, so that's okay. It's all good. Hopefully you've caught the hopefully you've caught the some of the videos uh, on that. Um, and also too, um, there is that poll. So we started, as we talked about yesterday, uh, we'll get into it a little bit more today, but there's the poll on the community tab to vote for the dividend stocks uh, for the YouTube YouTube earning kind of challenge or whatever. We we'll have to make. I have to think of a name, actual name for it. But uh, uh, so if you could go vote, there's been quite a few on there. Uh, f f uh, we can actually pull pull this up. Uh, I have. There it is. I posted yesterday, uh, hopefully you can see that, Fortis is in the lead. Uh, so it was a choice between Manulife Financial, Fortis, Sun Life Financial, Metro, and Loblaws. Uh, Fortis is in the lead by a little little margin, 41 votes. So make sure you head over there if you haven't already and give your vote. That's for the, for the dividend ones. That was, it. I had all these suggestions and it was like I was going through yesterday and I decided what I had to do from from the suggestions is look at ones that were were kind of classified more as dividend aristocrats. And there's a there is a iShares ETF that has all the dividend a lot of dividend uh, aristocrats uh, in from Canada in it. So I kind of went through, figured out what were the top ones, but also ones that weren't high in the top ten of VDY. Just so there's not as much overlap. And there and there we go. So that was in there. Uh, looks like Fortis might win it. That's but that's not a bad one. Uh, be happy, be happy to start investing in, in Fortis. That's for sure. So, if you haven't voted, make sure you go vote for that. Uh, and then we'll get into this. Kind of goes off with uh, works with um, uh, MC's comment uh, a little bit. We're gonna have to. The poll will be up later today for the growth ones. We'll pull up the chart that we have for any kind of growth uh, stocks or ETFs and and what kind of uh, made that uh, works. A good segue here, MC, is Arc is one of the ETFs that is in there. So uh, Tesla News, yeah, Arc put out. I, I was reading that on Twitter yesterday. Their price target of um, two thousand dollars for twenty twenty seven. Uh, that would be nice. 
Uh, I would be happy with that. Uh, will it happen? Uh, do, yeah, do do with that what you will. Uh, uh, may, maybe a little bit aggressive, but I I don't I don't know. I I think that's. Um, Tesla is an interesting one. It's it's. I mean, I own I own Tesla. We talk about Tesla a lot on the channel. Um, Tesla gets talked about a lot everywhere, right? Blossom is is all over Tesla. Twitter is all over Tesla. Any like anything you read about the market somehow involves Tesla. Um, I don't know if it will happen. Uh, their earnings came out. Obviously, if you if you own Tesla, you know that the stock has dropped substantially yesterday. Um, I actually did buy some of the Tesla yield shares yesterday, a little bit, um, um, not much. Did did I bought f uh, just five five shares of that, a little bit extra. Um, uh, yeah, who knows what will happen? Uh, if you dig into, uh, you know, Tesla's Tesla's an inter interesting one. I think. I think I think as a long term, it would be nice if it hit two thousand. Uh, would be nice if it hit half that uh, as well. But um, we'll have to see. We'll really have to see what uh, what happens with with that. She might be a little bit a little bit on the uh, aggressive side on there. But if you break it down and look at it, and you, if you yeah, I don't know if you if you think, I think they're really hedging. I think on the uh, for the full self driving robo taxis. Um, it, it's definitely a long term kind of it's a risk it's a risk for sure but you know what we could be we could be surprised one one thing i did i did if you look into tesla and their their more their long term with energy energy storage that uh, that section of their business is up substantial up substantially um so we'll have to see how that kind of pans pans out going forward uh, tjf good to have you good to have you here anadia channel member which is good uh yeah yeah on the star on the starship i wa you know what i wa i watched that yesterday morning uh it it's it's fascinating i mean it it's it it blew, it blew up uh but i think you know you can spin it either way right i mean it's it's um it's obviously they'll learn they'll learn from what happened you know and uh it the good the good thing about that is it didn't blow you know it didn't happen on the on the launch pad because that, that would have been way more of a disaster because apparently they, they only have one launch pad uh, and tower to be able to take these things off you know to set to take to let these uh, rockets take off because they're so large um, that would have been really bad um, but if it, hey it got up and it, it started to do what it was supposed to do so I think they have I I think it, they have is it two or three more they have kind of in the works being built. Uh, Candice. Um, so the next one will get launched and hopefully they'll start to go f further and further. Um, I don't know. We won't necessarily be in, maybe, maybe not in my lifetime at, in, on Mars, but who, who knows? Uh, interesting non nonetheless, for sure. Um, with, uh, with, with SpaceX, that's for sure. Um, yeah, she did. That's right. Before the split, she did actually call that. I mean, the ARC, the ARC ETF is like, is, is soup. I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not good or it's not, I shouldn't say it's not good. It's the, you know, the value has dropped totally, but she did, she did, I believe call, call, call that as well. Uh, pre, it was pre, pre split. That's right. Um, I think it was probably a, a bit of, it's it's always I think there's I think there's always a bit of luck involved for whatever reason. I find I find in investing it's just getting something at the right time. Um, it's not so much getting something at the right time. It's getting it's also figuring out when the heck to get when the heck to uh, possibly sell it at the right time. That's more lucky, you know. It's 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 so it's so it's so hard um, with uh, with investing. That's sure, but so bit of skill maybe, bit of luck. Um, we'll have to. We'll. I mean, this is the thing. Time will tell, right? Um, if you think it's if you're on that if you're drinking that uh, you know Kathy Ark Kool Aid Kathy Woods Kool Aid, um, I mean again it might not be a bad um, uh, might not be a bad thing to put a small position into. It just depends on how your um, uh, what your investing style is, right? And what your what your what you can handle for volatility because it will be there. So. Um, yeah, she's definitely. I would call her. Yes, definitely uh, uh, determined. Uh, yeah, and convic conviction. I mean, she. I was reading yesterday. She, the Ark bought. I, it was like a huge amount of Tesla stock yesterday. So maybe she'll be right. Who knows? Um, maybe she'll be right. But yeah, the last couple of years have not been kind. Uh, um, 
not not been kind at all um yeah it's um we'll have to see time time will tell and i guess on that on that note with with time um we should look at what because arc is one of the one of the growth stocks is is to be picked so uh for everybody watching uh that wasn't on maybe yesterday we are going to be doing what i'll be doing is splitting up uh my youtube earnings from this channel so from you uh channel members advertisers when you see those silly ads before my videos that gives me a couple cent penny or two that adds up over the month so what i'll be doing is putting those into two investments and we'll pick the dividend we'll pick a dividend one and a growth one there's a the dividend one is a poll over on the community tab looking like it's going to be fortis so we'll split it 50 50 fortis and then now we have to choose a uh, growth a growth stock um and uh, we'll pull that up so we can have what's uh, what's on there. Let me just uh, get the uh, get the thing. This will be kind of fun, I think, because it's not going to be a, I mean, it's not going to be a ton of money, but it'll be kind of it'll be kind of fun to watch to kind of compare dividends to growth and see what the heck uh, what the heck even is going to happen. Um, and so far, we have uh, there's a few there's a few here. I've taken some of the dividend ones off. Hopefully, you can see this. Um, I know it is kind of small. Um, it's, it is leaning more towards a little bit on the on the tech side. A couple of the big ones on there, uh, Google Alphabet. That would be kind of, I think, an interesting one because obviously Google pays you. So maybe maybe reinvest in that. Um, uh, Aritzia, I, I'm not going to pronounce uh, ATD because I can never, my French is terrible. Uh, ARK is, A-R-K-K -K is on there. Um, uh, MC, I know you had recommended Brookfield Infrastructure. CP Rail, uh, Constellation Software. That one's actually having a decent, good little day there. Um, I think we're an M, uh, Nuva Empire Company. Uh, oh, the pipeline one. Sorry, I'm going to take off the pipeline. That was one of the other ones. And Shopify. So there's a few in there to choose from. I'll have to break it down into. I will have to break that down into just five because the polls, the poll kind of only lets you do five. So uh, I'll go through that today. And what I kind of look at is something that's maybe not too doubled up in. Um, this one would obviously be, if it's growth, it's going to be more into uh, VFE. It might, that might be a little bit harder to do, but um, but uh, we'll have to uh, see. So if there's any more suggestions, as always, fire uh, fire away in the comments. We can kind of add a, a couple more, maybe growth stocks to kind of kind of choose from, um, and we'll uh, we'll have we'll let the we'll let the viewers decide. Um, yeah, it's Kush Kushtar. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's easier. It, it's the whole it's the whole long French French tongue tongue twister name. Uh, that's one thing I didn't do while in school with French, and I wish I did. I was just stupid and young and didn't want to pay attention in high school to French. <laughs> and I wish I. And then going going forward as you get older, you you wish you should have paid attention to these things. But anyways, um, yeah, MC, that's a good that's a good point. I'll read the rest of your comment because it did get it. It did get cut off a little bit. Um, interesting, there are lots of similarities between Apple and Steve Jobs and Elon Musk and Tesla. Um, not to say that Tesla will be like Apple in terms of stock price, but interesting to compare and contrast. Very similar. And very similar if you almost think of if you almost think of Tesla as a software company. Because essentially that's kind of what they are a lot, you know, with if they can nail f f the full self-driving, the software, um, it just the if you actually read into if you're invested in them you start to dig more into their into their reports and into their investor news um, really heavy on software so yeah it's 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 essentially a tech I, I would I would call it a tech company really it's uh, it's just with the what they're what they're what they're building and what they uh, you know where how their software runs everything else uh I, I was even reading a little bit of an article yesterday like just the, just all the integration of software across their their entire across their entire company and business is all like proprietary they for their supply chain and everything else they they couldn't find if you re, if you read into it they couldn't like they couldn't find proper solutions that would uh, would do what they wanted to do for all this vertical integration and software and they built it themselves um, so it's all all in house, and so that will can, that can also help with um, uh, with growth as well, because as they, as they add more people and add, add you know they, there's not the the cost of software and licensing and all that kind of stuff. So investment up front, but might pay off in the future. We'll have to see. We'll have to really see. Um, it would be nice if it let's. I mean, yeah, it, maybe it will hit that if it hits that two thousand um, dollar and 
I mean, my 2027, if I keep building my portfolio, maybe I can, maybe, maybe <laughs> never, never, never hedge everything on one, one thing, but that would be a nice, uh, a nice, um, uh, a nice, uh, bump to the, to the portfolio eventually down the road. But this is the thing. I think it's just being patient, right? Everything, every, everybody always wants things to happen. So you want it to happen really quickly, but we have to take a step back. And this is what I've learned is take a step back and, and, and pause let it let things ha- you know let things happen time stuff takes time it doesn't happen overnight um you'll go crazy trying to trying to find uh, something that will make your it's not going to make you rich. nothing's going to make you rich overnight really yeah he does kind of uh hurt hurt when when he when he talks uh yeah he um he, some yeah I, I i would agree i would agree with that he's he's definitely under the spotlight um, for better or worse right sometimes more worse than better and yeah, this is the little idea. It's truth GP, GPT as as well. He's you know investing in starting to, to get AI. I, didn't didn't I read somewhere that he bought something like ten thousand servers or something like that from uh, from was it uh, Nvidia or something like that or chips from Nvidia or something they're bu- they're buying? But yeah, he um, probably should keep keep quiet. I think once the Twitter, you know, it's the whole thing on Twitter. Yeah. He, probably just can't catch a break i guess who knows he's either he's either a complete genius or completely completely uh insane however maybe a little bit of both <laughs> on there so um yeah that will be uh that will be uh we'll have to see what happens with uh with uh his uh his ai and all that kind of all that kind of stuff i i was i read as well that microsoft has stopped advertising on twitter because they were pulling their something to do with their API. They don't want to pay for the API or, or something like that because they were pulling in data from it. I mean, that's the main reason I think Elon bought Twitter was f- to get the, you know, years and years and years of of data that is on there um, uh, for AI. That's probably the long the long play. And and whatever he's planning with, I mean, re, re, renaming it uh, x.com and possibly doing into payment system payment processing all that kind of stuff so we'll have to uh we'll have to see i have to read his biography yeah that's a good good call good call mc um and that's exactly it there is really a, th- a thin a thin line between you know genius and insanity for sure um he's definitely um a little bit a little bit of both but i mean if you look if this is the thing if you look back and and say you know, if you go back, say ten years, and when he's saying, "I'm going to launch, I'm going to launch satellites into into space, and we'll have internet over that will cover the high speed internet that will cover the whole entire globe," uh, you you would have thought he was insane, and look what happens, right? So, um, he, he, I think he just does a good job of bringing the right people on board that will that can that can uh, execute his ideas. It's not necessary. much like I mean, similar similarities, right? To st- to st- to Steve Jobs, right? Um, just a little bit different marketing styles possibly but um uh, definitely his ideas are are sometimes out there and uh, but they get the smart the smart people that can actually execute on it so uh interesting yeah i mean with, with like with starlink i mean they, you, you can even have you can even have a starlink satellite on a boat now uh so you literally have high-speed internet anywhere on the you know i, I don't want to say almost in, i probably almost anywhere on the water that your boat is i guess i i don't i don't know if they have like full entire entire coverage of the globe but i think it's pretty i think i think it's pretty close uh to that interesting interesting times that's for sure oh right let's see i had uh, on only one article that actually popped up today, but of course, if anybody else has, uh, and I have to find it because I always close my tabs off. Uh, and it was a it was a video though, unfortunately. But uh, I saw on the headlines today that um, uh, v, uh, VW uh, uh, in on, well Ontario uh, Premier and the Prime Minister are announcing a v, the VW uh, battery plant to be start to be built in uh, in Ontario. Um, government promises. Thirteen billion dollars subsidy to secure the deal. So interesting, interesting in that it's probably, I think, probably hopefully long term a good a good thing for for manufacturing manufacturing in Canada and for for EV. Um, if uh, that's always that's always a good thing. Um, and 
the more, it seems like more and more we're just keep hearing about EV. Maybe I'm maybe I'm in that loop because I, I keep reading about uh, investments in green energy and Tesla, you know Tesla that kind of stuff. But it seems to be seems to be kind of happening uh, uh, as we uh, as we as we roll here. And HYLD did cut their dividends. I read that on uh, I read that on Blossom yesterday, Candice. I don't own HYLD. I know a lot of people do. It's a popular one. I think Blossom had some good posts on that. And I know Jordan, uh, who we've had on the channel, uh, and I've been on his channel. Uh, Jordan had um, has investments in that as well. Um, he did a video. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw a video pop up on his feed about HYLD cutting their dividends. I think it was pretty substantial, though, right? It's... Um, but I think they did a, from my understanding, they did a, uh, they have a post or a video or information on their website of why and that kind of stuff. So it's down, down to 12 cents. Was it, what was it before? I'm not sure. Was it 14 cents? I want to say, I think I saw, I, I didn't read too much into it, uh, Steve and Candace, partly because I don't own it. Um, so, um, I know there's a, a few people that were kind of suggesting I add it as part of the part of kind of the growth 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 one but um yeah yeah um insane it's insane ideas that pan out can get you uh, to number one yeah apple a good example with itunes they yeah i remember when that came out itunes itself was probably the insane from a music consumption industry perspective it did totally disrupt it because prior to that it was everybody was down I mean, you remember limewire everybody would have you know uh have limewire and downloading it was huge downloading music uh albums from the internet that was i mean gosh i'm gonna date myself maybe some of the people watching don't even remember remember it, but it was in the not was it the 90s it must have been the yeah late 90s uh where you people were downloading music left right and center uh and then apple basically opened a re I wouldn't say yeah literally reinvented the music store uh you used to have to go to the store and buy CDs remember that um and you'd have to you'd have to buy the whole CD and then Apple just kind of flipped it around and you could buy one song for 99 cents uh, every song was 99 cents and people thought they were people probably thought they were crazy um but it actually it actually turned out and it kind of it kind of switched the back into I mean it was before, kind of before my day when they had they had singles. They used to have the singles as records and stuff like that that would get released. So Apple kind of really flipped that on its head. And um, I mean, I bought iTunes Music at the time. I think a lot of people did, um, and it uh, it was super super popular. I haven't I haven't bought uh, a, a, a music for a long time. I mean, I'll listen uh, a Spotify is kind of or something like that, right? Streaming streaming music, uh, but I mean, there's still advertising that kind of stuff getting paid but um it was uh yeah interesting times it's funny i i think i mentioned this in the live stream before i used to have a i used to have a website that i used to run that had remember when i uh when the ipod uh, kind of first came out and they had those commercials with they'd always have a new song on their commercials and it was always kind of a catchy song it was a good single that people would people would download and i had a i had a website that was just the songs from the uh, iPod commercials. So I had a, and I, and it was, it was, it did really well, uh, for, for a time, that's for sure. And what it had is it had affiliate links on there that, so I would have the songs from, I it was like literally songs from iPod commercials. So as soon as there's a new commercial, I would put it on and it had a link to the iTunes store. And if people clicked it and bought a song, I would get a nickel. Um, and so I actually got a lot of nickels at the time, uh, from, cause as soon as it, and it was great because as soon as there was a new commercial, I could, update the site and put it put the new song on there and every of course everybody was searching for what what the heck song that was um, to find it on itunes and that's uh and you get the nickel for the um nickel for the song if someone bought it it was good yeah that was uh that was those were those were the good old days uh 14 cents okay 14 so two people 14 14 so i was i was i was right so it used to be 14 And yeah, they had, they had, see, you used to have to go, I remember the release stage, you'd have to go if you wanted something to go and you'd like line up for the CD, right? If you wanted a new artist and they'd, or they'd release it at midnight and stuff like that too, right? Pretty crazy how, how times have changed. I, I, I assume you can still buy, I assume you can still buy CDs. I haven't seen a, like a CD store. I, are they even still around? I, yeah, I think, the, I think maybe the last of them kind of closed 
might have closed down actually i i couldn't even i couldn't even tell you i i'm trying to think i know i know in bc here we had a and b sound which was like a music slash like electronic store that was very popular but that that closed years ago and then there was uh what's the other one h hmv is hmv even still around i don't um i don't think i even know yeah so it's funny how times have changed. Date myself. Um, eight track collection. We used to have an eight track in, <laughs> in, I love how you can just date yourself on this. Some people probably don't even know what an eight track is. Uh, my dad, uh, my parents' car used to have an eight, we used to have an eight track in the car. And then you'd have to plug in that big cartridge and then you could skip. You could, well, you couldn't, you couldn't, you, you could skip, you could skip tracks like to the, to the difference for, for, you know, but you couldn't. You couldn't rewind it or whatever. It had to. You had to display it, or I think you could fast forward them, but you couldn't. You couldn't rewind. They'd, so you so so random. <laughs> I, I think. I think my no. They must have threw them out. I think my parents had. They had eight. We had an eight track stereo, so they must have had eight at some eight tracks. But yeah. <laughs> this day date myself. I don't even have CDs anymore. I got rid of all those. I when I moved kind of the first time there was like a box of CDs and I thought they're all loaded on the computer anyways. So it's like, get rid of these. But um, So I'm sure it's a huge battle to go up against a type of friction and disrupt the entire industry. Yeah, they probably, I, I think you're talking about Apple, Apple and the music. They probably were butting it against the head. And I think, I think there was the, the record companies probably thought, thought Steve Jobs and Apple were crazy, were crazy at the time. Uh, and he, I think he stuck to it, probably stuck to his guns and said, no, do this or it's like all or nothing kind of thing. And, and it, it seemed to work out, seemed to work out. He, he literally switched it from people downloading free songs to paying 99 cents for them, which is pretty crazy. It definitely, it definitely switched it. Um, and that was the whole thing. They had the iPod, right? And it was the iPod that went, uh, it went insane uh, for, for people. So they had that kind of, and it only worked, you know, you could connect it to iTunes and that was the way you got them on, you know, so pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, interesting that we call me go, go to insane. Yeah. But visionary could be extremely close, if not interchangeable in a business and innovation sense. Yeah, it, it does. I think so. Um, if it works, you're a visionary. If it doesn't work, you, people think you're crazy, but you kind of have to be, I think a, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit crazy to have those big those big ideas it's just whether whether it, it's it's whether the it takes off of the masses I have to see i remember that too i didn't have my brother had my brother's more into music than i than ever i was uh, my brother's in the music industry um and he was always more into music than he he had that i remember that as a kid you would get the um he would get the tapes in the mail all the time columbia house that's what it was yeah yeah it's um yeah he got uh yeah that's how he got them. That's how you would get them mailed to your mail to your place. Yeah, I, good call. I, I haven't even funny. It's funny you say that because I haven't thought of CDs in year, literally probably years. Um, I have a CD player in my car. I don't have any CDs, um, but uh, uh, it's um, it's. Uh, yeah, I and I I can't even think of it if I've seen any in the stores anywhere. Um, I don't really go to malls and stuff like that though. So it's I mean if there's still if someone's <laughs> if someone's listening and watching and, and knows that there's a uh, a music store somewhere, leave a comment because I haven't seen one for a long long time. But definitely way more way more expensive, right? Actually, but they're kind of probably partly too a kind of niche coming back, right? MC like records are you know have that kind of niche following where they'll they'll release stuff on vinyl like special editions and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I was Napster. That's the one. Yeah, was it? It was LimeWire than Napster. That's that's what. It, yeah, that's what it was. Um, still ICQ. Yeah, I had that too. I can't remember. I can't remember my I my my name though but every i think everybody had that yeah and it was a little whistle when they when you got a message or sent it right and so if you, you're di yeah it was the digits but <laughs> yeah and you just go you go on you'd go on just to surf right and look at random stuff and now it's like we're connected all the time uh we can't operate without can't operate without the internet 
Um, well, right now, look at this on streaming. Look at that. Um, and it's just like you literally go onto the computer and it starts. I remember, I mean, I remember again, we date, our, we date ourselves and having to having to dial up and all that kind of stuff. You got the, you got the web uh, Netscape Navigator got mailed to you in a disk so you could install it on your computer because there was no other way. To, you couldn't download anything because you didn't have internet. You didn't have internet. So you need to get the disk, actually get the disk in your, um, in the mail. Uh, because you couldn't connect there's no way to there's no way to connect to the internet without the software and you couldn't get it because you couldn't go online pretty crazy times and now it's just instantly connected yeah uh there's a show on amc called halt and catch fire uh for tech oh okay interesting uh, yeah i don't i don't think i have i don't have amc unless it's on like maybe prime or something like that but maybe not halt and catch fire good call <laughs> All right. It's always it's always it's always funny to look back look back on look back on the old the old tech. We'll be looking we'll be maybe maybe we'll be looking people will be looking back in like whatever how many years 40 years 20 years whatever they'll they'll be, they'll be living on they'll be living on Mars going like do you remember when people used to used to live on the earth? <laughs> yeah. And they had CDs. CDs and eight, CDs and eight tracks, and soon maybe music will be. Im, we'll have implants that we could just turn them on, turn on, turn on whatever. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, oh, one kind of interesting thing. Back to back to e, e, EV, and I've always mentioned like probably my next car will probably be an EV. I'm not. In, I'm not in the car market by any means, but. I noticed where I am right now. It's it's a apartment uh, building, four story kind of building, and there's two buildings. But on the parking lot, they've just put in they've just put in uh, chargers for uh, four of the spots on kind of on the entrance. There's um, there's uh, EV chargers now that you can uh, that you can use. Obviously, I think you have to put your you have to put your credit card on there. But um, so that's kind of nice. So now that I know if I ever get an EV, I I will have somewhere to plug it in and uh, fill it fill, not fill it up, charge it up. Uh, if that comes down the road, I could see that uh, kind of happening. I still need to. Uh, I got a few more, four, few, few, few more years left at least in my in my car. Hopefully, knock on knock on wood, it doesn't cause me much problems because the silly thing has just paid off. But um, it's nice to know that those are around. We're seeing more and more, more and more of those. So uh, four spots, which is uh, which is good. And there's actually a few people that here that actually have uh, EVs. So I've seen people already using them to to charge them, which is good. You always kind of look at. You always see the, I don't think there's any, no, I haven't seen any, tes there's no Teslas in the parking lot, but um, there's, a, there's a couple other EVs, uh, a couple of the, uh, the Hyundai ones that I've seen charging up. All right, let's see. I just want to go and we'll see who's, I just want to check and see who's win, who is winning the poll because I know a few votes have been coming in today. 43 votes. We're going to be, it's going to be a, it's going to be a really close, let's pull this up. It's going to be really close between, between Manulife and Fortis. Fortis is just winning by a hair. So we'll let this run. We'll let this kind of all run over the, uh, over the weekend. Um, and then I'll, we'll close it off. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good. I think Fortis will be, a, will be a good one on there. So that's always good. A person who parks across from me drives a B. You yeah, haven't seen much of those, uh, as well. I don't think they were they were they're kind of funny looking cars, but um, they were like super futuristic when they came out, right? They were they were the one that it was the one that was in the um, was that the one that was in the Mission uh, Mission Impossible one? I think I, I watched that the other night on Netflix, and it was the BMW uh, on there. BMW seems to have not done. They had those other ones too. Those little those little ones. Is that is the little one the i8? I forget. I'm not a like again. I'm not a car person, so I think the i8 is like the sports car one. Or is that the? Or is that is the i8 the little one? You have to you have to let me know, MC, if it's if it's the one. I can't remember. I can't remember what one is which. On on the um, I guess I could Google it. It's a, yeah. It's a sports car. I was right. Yeah, it's a hybrid. That's kind of funny. Yeah. 
That's what it is. Yeah, the i th i three. I think I think you're I think you're correct. Let me just double check. I three or i four? I three. You're right. Yeah. I haven't seen very many of those lately. Um, you see a few of those. You see a few of those on the road, but I have I haven't I haven't seen any i i i threes for for a long time. Um, for whatever whatever uh, whatever reason, but um, yeah, interesting as we as we uh, as we go one 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 ev that looks kind of neat though is i the uh i mean i don't know how they're not here yet is the the vw the vw bus is kind of a fun one that looks kind of neat i'm into i'm into i'm into camping and getting outdoors and stuff like that that would be kind of fun i i don't know how uh how i mean day-to-day -day practical i guess i guess i guess it is i mean you see people driving the old older vw VW vans and stuff stuff around. So the new ones look kind of neat because you can have a little camper set up in the back. It'd be kind of fun. Um, but uh, I don't know about a daily necessarily a daily driver, but kind of kind of neat nonetheless. What's what's coming out? Uh, there's an interesting story. So I'm gonna have to read that book. I've got that saved MC um, and how the Tesla ended up appearing in Tony Stark's house in the Iron Movie. Oh, okay. So there's kind of a story story behind it. Yeah. Def Elon Elon is definitely kind of a kind of a Tony Stark kind of character kind of uh, yeah for sure <laughs> although with the share with the share with the share price yesterday not worth uh, not worth quite as not worth quite as quite as um, uh, quite as much as he was the day before but that's always uh, that's always a thing your money value goes up uh, up and down up and down with the uh, with the market. Uh, you, you could do, yeah, you could do, I guess you could. I don't know what, I don't know how that one fold down. Those ones are pretty pricey though. The X, I, I was reading today, actually, I'm seeing the, the X and the S, they've increased the prices, uh, by a little bit. Um, uh, and, uh, the other ones are coming down in price. Uh, I think they came down in price today and yes, again, they, they reduced the price of the three and the, uh, the, um, uh, the Y, <laughs> and uh, I think it's in Canada now too, and they'll also qualify for the, um, I think for a good chunk of the, um, the rebate, federal rebate. So, yeah, um, I remember that one too. That one, those are kind of, those are like super, those are, those are, su those were super ugly. Um, I think they've got a bit of a cult, a cult following now though too. Um, they used to be kind of a favorite. They had the, like the tent and stuff that fit, fit on the back. Um, uh, I haven't seen many of those on the road. I don't know how reliable they they necessarily are. You still you still do see a lot of the the, the old VW uh, vans, definitely. Um, I've got a fr actually I've got a friend of mine. She has a business that she runs and she does she does, uh, but she uses it for her business. It's a like an old old one, like from the from the uh, fifth. I forget what year it is. Fifty something. Like it's one of the one of the old ones. Has the windows in front that fold up and all that kind of stuff. It's gorgeous. Um, she rents, she like leases it, rents it out for photo shoots and movies and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it was super ugly and it, and it uh, but the back, yeah, it, it went down completely flat. So I think it's, I think it's, um, it's got that cult fo cult following. Probably people, probably people will look to buy that if they, if they're looking for some type of van kind of thing. And I know the, I've looked and cause I know the VW, the VW camper vans are super expensive, um, cause they don't make them anymore. And, um. Or they don't have them in Canada anymore. They 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 kind of should. I I would probably look at something like that, but um, it uh, it's maybe an alternative to that. That's maybe a bit less a uh, bit less expensive, um, but uh, definitely uh, definitely um, definitely ugly. That's for sure. <laughs> definitely ugly. There we go. All right. Well, that's uh, that's good. We're coming up to coming up to about quarter two, everybody. This is, these are always kind of fun. These conversations are always uh, always good to uh, good to have uh, on a Friday, especially in a good mood today. Nice. I can. I'm looking out the corner of my eye and I can see the sun the sun shining in, which is always it's always nice. Give me a nice sunny day to work. Have the window maybe have the window open a little bit, which is nice. Get some fresh air finally after the uh, after the winter. And I can tell I can tell it's turning into spring because I can I can feel the pollen in and almost feel like I'm stuffed up uh, a little bit so blossoms are coming out in the west coast here uh the in terms of the, in terms of channel going forward i i have to get 
I've been, I've, it's been horrible. I apologize. I have to, I mean, we're, we're doing the, we're doing the, we're doing the lives, but I have to get an update out of, out of the way and up on the page. I promise I will. I keep saying I promise, but I'm behind. I have to do a portfolio update video. I actually have to get it also do a, uh, I've had a comment asking about it is the, the venture fund. What the heck is happening with that one? Uh, so I'll get those up. I, I, I do. I, I'm not going to promise, but I, I'd have my uh, work cut out for me on the weekend to get those, get those posted. Um, going forward though, going to be carrying on. It's always uh, the same, right? It sounds boring, but Monday morning will be the regular dollar cost average, VDY, VFE, the usual, the usual uh, purchases of the, of the TFSA carrying on with that um, as it goes. Um, and if there's maybe some opportunities, we'll see if there's anything else at one point to kind of add to, but I'm pretty happy with kind of how the portfolio is doing. Not, not, not as great now that the Tesla is taking a, taking a drop, but Hey, that's okay. Long-term, I guess uh, by 2027, as we said, maybe we'll, maybe, maybe everything will have turned around. Um, and, uh, We'll have to, see, we'll, but we will have to see what, what's uh, what's happening. So, uh, thanks everybody for tuning tuning in. Do really appreciate it. Uh, taking the time, we'll be back on. We'll be back on Monday for the live stream. I'll get that posted so you can have the reminder set, and I will have the poll up uh, for the uh, growth stock choice. Um, I think we've got enough. Uh, to, to choose, but if anybody has any uh, last minute suggestions, now is the time to fire them in uh, for a, uh, a growth uh, growth uh, stock. Um, fire them away. Let them know in a comment. But I'll get working on that today. Get that get that poll posted, and then we'll start to do the we'll start to do the that one probably next week actually because the way Google Google usually works and pays, you kind of get an email usually on the 21st. Uh, so it should be any time kind of today. And then that takes a few days to hit your account. So I'll transfer it over and we'll, we'll start that. That'd be kind of fun to see where that, that happens and goes, uh, goes in a week. So there we go. Uh, Ramit Sethi has a more balanced take on personal finance. His podcast is great called, I will teach you to be rich. I'm just going to search that while I, while I'm here MC, because I will forget if I don't, uh, let's see if it's here. I wonder if they have, uh, does he have, um, does he have, it's on Audible. Okay, perfect. There he is. I wonder if he has um, a YouTube channel. He does. Uh, there we go. Subscribed on the YouTube. So that's always good because it looks like I think he has his, uh, it looks like he has his podcast on the, vi on the video pod, uh, video. Uh, which is well, I like those. So I'll, I'll be watching. Uh, we'll be watching that. That's gives me something to watch tonight. Got that saved. There we go. Always appreciate it. Uh, awesome. Thanks everybody. That's it. I have to get to work. I can see my email starting to roll in here. Hopefully, I'll have the rest of the good uh, good day. If you're buying and selling today, hopefully, uh, you're, everything's looking good on your your portfolio. Um, and uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Happy investing. All that good stuff. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you. Uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.